No cutscene? What the? This is very weird. What the heck is this place? It's an event. Floor 30? This can't be the final floor. And there seems to be a person here, too. Upon entering the room, a foul smell assaults our nostrils. Oh god, it reeks. What is that? It's been smelling a little rank since we came in, but up here, it's... ugh. Who intrudes on the holy chambers of the great almighty Swamp King? Whoa, get a little alarm, this mofo. He's huge. What? How dare you come into my house and slander my magnificent bulk? Insolence! I will have your heads for less. I would have your heads for lesser acts. Hey, Karen. This monster can talk too. Shouldn't we see if he'll answer anything for us? I suppose, assuming we you don't pass off from the smell before then. Monster, that you sold my kingly presence with such disrespect. There will be no forgiveness for a slight. None at all. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Please excuse us. We didn't mean anything by it. We apologize if we've offended you. If it's too late to be beg for mercy now. Oh, I've never been so insulted. Dang it. I may have to Oh, no. Oh, come on. Please. We're really sorry. Please forgive us. Er, right, er. Right. This is an act that I can forgive. Please. Uh, uh. Please. Oh, all right, all right. You're pardoned for your crimes against my noble self. Or heaven to there being no forgiveness for this slight. You Yay, then. On one condition. Yes? You shall enter into wedlock with me by undergoing the sacred rites of holy matrimony. <laughs> so I'm guessing that the whole dungeon is some kind of sacred rite, huh? Eh? Hey, <laughs> rejoice! From this day on, you shall take your rightful place amongst royalty and highborn. Wait, 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 wait. Not so fast. What do you mean you want me to marry you? Your dazzling smile, your gorgeous long hair... My dear lady, to be perfectly frank, I've been charmed by your beauty ever since you first stepped foot into this room. Uh, congratulations, Mishka. Or excuse me, Mrs. Swamp Queen to be. How many beautiful children are you two planning to have? You shut up. What's wrong? Are you somehow unsatisfied with these arrangements? There's no need for a dowry if that is what troubles my fair maiden so. You alone are worthy enough a prize. Well, uh, um, I mean, we only just met. We should get to know each other better. Oh god, this is so rich. Help, my stomach hurts. You ungrateful bumpkin. Who do you think I'm sucking up to for him for? <laughs> ah, that's alright. There will be time in the coming years, especially once we have our firstborn. Please, no! Well, um, I still think it's far too soon. Besides, I'm a human and you're a... Or not human. It'll never work. Oh, such a trifling concern. Fear not. I just know... I know just what is needed. Um, you do? I believe you will need to feel more comfortable about the situation once I've cast a demonic transformation spell on you. Wait, if she gets demon powers, does that mean she'll be strong, a stronger party member? What? Don't tell me you're the one turning humans into monsters. Are you ready, my love? With this gift, you shall be born anew. Run! Run! Warp wire, please! Wait, stop, stop! I don't want to become a monster! Help! Mishka! What happened? Are you alright? Do you feel any different? Um... I think I feel a little meaner? You don't look much different. Were you really a monster all along? What do you think? Hey, what's the big deal? I thought you said we were going to turn her into a monster. Turn to a monster? Whoever gave you such a notion? Inconceivable! It only awakened her demonic self so that she might feel more at ease in my exalted demon presence. Oh good, in other words, she hasn't changed at all. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're just mocking me? Alright, as amusing as this has all been, I'm afraid we can't actually let you take her to be your unlawfully wedded wife. Agreed, unless she also gives her consent, this marriage can't be allowed to happen. You heard them. If you want her, you're gonna have to go through us. Guys, that you challenged my royal authority so impudently. Tell me, just what is she to you? Huh, I'm guessing this is the neutral option. Second option gives me points. Third option takes away points. I'm gonna go with neutral. 
That's right, she may be a sadistic jerk, a scary cat, and a dumbass, but she's a sadistic jerk, scary cat, and dumbass. You can't have her. Gosh, I'm so very touched. Really, I am. Oof, what useless trite that you would lay such slanderous claims to my beautiful fiance. It matters not, for she has been pardoned for her crimes against the throne. The rest of you will not go unpunished. So it comes down to this anyways. Fine, let's rock. If by indeed if I rock you mean fall to your impending dooms. Wait, what? In the hindsight you probably should have expected something like this. Wait, but No! I won't be able to access the shop! God damn it! There better be a shopkeeper where we just landed. Gah, God it stinks! Gross, this smell's never coming out. What's all this swamp water doing here anyways? We fell down pretty far. Good thing this water was here to break it, huh? Could even call it a lucky break. He really got us good. We won't get back up there. And fast, Mishka's really going to end up as that monster's wife. Okay, we can you can ignore me all you want, but I'm still going to get my punts in one way or another. Isn't that weird, though? As of late, we've been seeing f more and more monsters that can communicate intelligibly. This one even thinks he's a king and wants to marry. Does that mean these monsters have actually developed social hierarchies like humans have? I guess that's inevitable if some of them were once human. That's a really good question. You know what's an even better question? What do you think that monster is doing in Mishko right now? Well, we discussed the riveting development of their so oh so interesting social systems. Okay, okay, you're right. We better hurry up and save her. Oh no. What the heck is that? Is that a spike? I don't like this. Will this damage me? Yeah, it will, but... It... Oh, crap, I don't... Seriously, we don't have any save points either. Interesting. We can go back actually. Ha, huh, what a relief. I was about to freak there. Wait a minute, if we can go back. Wait a minute, what the? Does that mean I can just fight the Swamp King right now? No. He's blocked it off. Duh! Curses. This really kind of sucks. So we have no choice but to go down. I don't see anything interesting here either. Huh. Okay, made for those enemies, okay. Oh, come on. Whoa! I see, they'll lock me in. Uh, the enemy s uh, layout. The, the enemy lineup seems to be the same as before. Ow. Now I have to worry about... Uh, I have to worry about trap doors and stuff too. Uh.
Where does this take me? Just back here, I guess. Okay, let's go up. Another hole? This will take me to the other side, won't it? No, it just dumps me all the way back here. All the holes dump me back here, don't they? Shoot. Okay, back to here. Oh, there's a stair there. Shoot! It's a trap! A trap with a door of absolutely no reward. Oh, hell. Soul. Ice too. Oh, nice. Absolute zero, the strongest ice spell. Of course, I went through a lot of forns, literal forns, just to get here. Oh, joy. Yikes. Ah, oh, good, they didn't. Yeah, ouch. Just gonna heal for a bit. Okay, I see a stair here. It's this one, huh? Interesting. I don't think I want to head down there, though. Or do I? Just in case... Oh! I... There is something here. Hmm, well, I will... The spikes seem to be inevitable at this point. What do I do? How do I get there? No, there's another path here. Aha! What did that do? Runic Crimson Tear. That's it for this area. But there is another one on the other side. Hmm. I wanna check something real quick. Ah, there is something. Nope, maybe not. We'll be extra furrow here. Okay, I can't get to that bomb corner by any means possible, so I guess that's it. For reals. 
Okay, this chest has a lot of holes around it, but once you figure it out, or a sentinel free. Yep, lots and lots of holes. Yikes. Okay, up these stairs. What the heck? Is this an unavoidable fight? They're not moving. Damn it, I have to beat one of... I am curious about that hole though. Yeah, let's just kill one group then. Oh shoot, this one costs a lot. Guard Crush. 1.6. Oh well, they have pretty good defense. Not a whole lot of speed though. Two holes. One of these must be the way forward, huh? Which one do I want to s examine first? This means I can't cross no matter what. What the heck is this all about? Bad. I don't think I should have taken this route. Wait. I guess he I guess he's, has a set pattern. Holy crap, that's a lot of holes. this shoot now I gotta do all that over again all right maybe back here again but I don't know which hole to take maybe one let me try something no I was hoping there would be a secret hole here that turned out to be the correct answer no one of these has to be it though Okay, since this FOE has a set pattern, I'm just gonna make it do a full cycle on screen so that anyone who's playing this will know what to refer to. Okay, I'm guessing this is also wrong. Nope. Yeah, it is. Oh well. At least I know how to dodge that FOE now. Yep, that's really all you have to do to dodge the FOE. Okay, now I'm now I'm making progress. What? What's with this part? 
Oh, I see. That switch I pressed earlier must have... was probably it. That was probably what allowed me to go in there. Um, please tell me there's no more FO- Oh, wow. What's in here? Crap. Is there a secret path up here? Don't understand. What what's the point of this spiky room? As far as I'm concerned, there's no real point at all. Maybe it's sitting above something in the other room that maybe there's a No? No comprend No, maybe the spikes are hiding some kind of secret passage. Nope. I'm wrong. Oh, hell no. Oh, I see. That's what the spikes are all about. And I'm supposed to find the conveyor belt that takes me to the other side properly. Yes. I think I get it now. That's the one. Oh wow, I'm almost there. Wait a minute, what the heck are these two? I see. Shoot. Okay, back on the path again. Hopefully, no more tricks. Runic honeydew. There must be a secret passage here. Uh... Huh? What's going on? What do I do? Oh shoot! No really, what am I supposed to do here? There has to be a secret passage I can exploit somewhere. I'm confused. What do I do? There must be something I'm missing here. Is there a staircase I have not examined yet? What? Oh. I don't see anywhere leading upwards either. Never mind, turns out there was a passage right here. The, the whole passage I was going through before was just a wild goose chase. <sighs> Alright, better prep for the boss. Here goes. Yikes! Am I reading that right? There's no way I can beat that! Maybe I need- to shoot, I don't have any earth spells on me either. This is really bad.
Ow. What the heck? How did I do... What the? What's going on? Why are my criticals critting so much? Hmm. Very, very weird. In any case, I do not want this... I don't want this boss to get too powerful, so... Oh no, it's charging its AP! Shoot, I'm going to be low on AP for a while. Getting stronger. Huh. Uh, still, this defense is. It must be using some kind of wonky damage formula if I'm doing tens of thousands to it. This game can really troll me sometimes, I suppose. Uh. Ow. Uh. You all out. Got it. Giant free. No, stay away! Don't do that! Huh, Mishka? God, no, I'm all wet too! Stay still, you horrible thing! What the hell? What the hell? What's going on here? Karen, guys, you're safe! And you smell downright terrible! What are you doing anyways? What does it look like? I'm giving him a bath, of course! Specifically, she was scrubbing the Swamp King down with a wet cloth and a basin full of water. And, how to put it, it looked like she was having fun while doing it. Give me a break, and it's not like we have proper plumbing and facilities here. And yes, it is fun and relaxing, thank you very much. 
Are you falling in line with your filial duties? It's a little disheartening to see you like this. No, I just figured it might help with the smell a little. Plus, there's a lot of places he can't reach by himself, right? Oh, that feels good. Very good. Yeah, you like it here? Want me to scrub you some more? Stop flooring with him. Besides, weren't you scared for us all? Uh, as, for us at all? We just about fell to our dooms. Well, it's not the first time something like that has happened, right? I figured you guys would be fine. Don't say that, Mishka. Karen was really worried for you. What? No, I wasn't. Oh, but if Ari's the one saying it, then it must be true. Aw, uh, really? You were worried? I didn't know you care about uh, that much about me. I feel so special and loved. Shove, Ari. Don't say such unnecessary things. It's because we won't have enough manpower without you. Plus, you know, I've got a responsibility to the team's safety and all. And, and, you guys are worried too, even more than I was. Now you know that's not tr true. After we fell down, you were the first to immediately go, We have to hurry back there, up there and save Mishka. We didn't even have time to discuss anything before he has marching. He, that's so sweet, Karen. You don't have to hide your feelings from me. Come here and give me a hug. But aren't you still covered with the slimy stuff? All of you bite my ass. Oh yeah, so good, so marvelous. Trace Bien, ooh, it's you free again. Are you really just only just noticing us now? What can I say? My technique's impeccable. Harum, why must you insist on intruding on our perfect love? Can you not see that we are happy together? Actually, about that, sorry, Mr. Swamp King. This bird is not ready to be chained down in a place like this. What, but my dearest love, how can you desert me so? Think of what we have together. We have known each other for a few hours at best, the first part of which consists of squeezing you for information. The second part, me giving you a bath because you so desperately needed one and I couldn't stand the smell anymore. Did you find anything useful? Nope, he doesn't know anything we don't already know. We might as well keep going up. No, no, you shall not escape me. Huh? Oh, your pitfall traps? I turned them off while you weren't looking. Any other tricks you'd care to try? Oh. You know, if you had time to do that, doesn't that mean you could have opened that door at the door as well and saved us by uh, having to come up the long way around? Oops, Teehee. Don't you Teehee your way out of this one, stupid Mishka. Wait, wait, please, I can't bear to live without you. I'll waste away and be a mere shell of my former self. I think you could afford to waste away a little, or really, a lot. Please, I'm begging you. No one's ever been this nice to me before. Well, why do you think that is? I don't know. They're all just jealous of my kingly disposition. Really? Of course, Harumph. Those peasants resent the royal blood running within my veins, so they treat me with such contempt. How petty they are. Is it possible that he was once a, a legit ki human king before getting trapped in here or something? You've gotta be kidding me. Do we have to keep listening to this crap? Can we spill already? Hold your tongue, sniveling knave. I was adjusting your fairness, not your filthy, unworthy self. What? You gonna go wanna go? Karen. What? Let me handle this. Fine, Weber. We'll wait up ahead. Don't take too long. We head to the next room, leaving Mishka and the Swamp King alone. Since he has letters to his uh, a color in his name, maybe he can join our party. Wouldn't that be something? Finally, those meddlesome whelps are gone. Now, my love, perhaps we can continue where we left off? My love, what are you looking for? Oh, just something along the story. Let's see, I guess this stick will do. Oh, what do you need a stick for? Simple. Wait, you're not gonna actually try to fight him by yourself, are you? He may be kinda dumb, but I don't think he's gonna be a pushover in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Even with the entire party, you would sh probably struggle. She went to behind the Swamp King. Where are you going? I cannot see you standing behind me. Aye! Oh good, it looks like it holds up pretty well. My love, where are you? Eee, please don't hit me, it's disgraceful. Eee, no, 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 that does not make me happy. I would rather... Good, stop, no more hitting, no more. Mishka came back around. Please, my darling, what has gotten into? Shut up. Eek! Now you listen well. You are not a king. You are vermin. Garbage. Scum. What are you saying? Of course I'm a king. Eek, I'm a vermin. I'm garbage. I'm scum. Oh man, this is some kinky stuff. 
That's right, you're a filthy, disgusting, useless piece of trash, and not even worth peeling off the bottom of my shoe. Look at you, just a pile of lard, losing here day after day, a waste of everyone's precious air. Where are you? Eee, a filthy, disgusting, useless piece of trash, not even worth peeling off the bottom of your shoe. A pile of lard, lacing here day after day, a waste of everyone's precious error. I can't believe you memorized all that. Good, at least even guards like you can recognize where your place is. Don't you dare forget it. Oh man, do you... this must be your demonic side that he unlocked with that weird spell of his. Got it? You're so disgustingly filthy that you barely breathe, standing next to you. What are you going to do about that, huh? Eek, what? I'll tell you what, you're going to exercise daily and get fit. You're going to bathe yourself from now on. You're going to clean this place regularly. Got it? But, but, but. Got it? Eek, got it. I'll start right away. Good, and don't you even dare think about, dare even think about skipping out. Or else. Eek, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I guess that's him doing scrubbing or something. All right, let's go. Wait, before we move on, can you guys do something with the smell? You all stink, really stink bad. Yeah, actually, I was thinking we should go home for today so we can clean up. Whew, for a moment, I was afraid you'd want us to keep going like this. Don't joke, I'm getting itchy in places I'd really rather not get itchy in. Seriously, let's get out of here. Agreed, I don't think I'd go any further today. Seriously, I was expecting the Swamp King to actually be a boss battle and all, but... For some reason, he would turn out to be a pushover. Made the trek down to the teleporter, then left the tower. I'm glad we were able to save Mishka today, before anything happened. Honestly, I don't think we anything would have happened anyways. The Swamp King talks big, but I doubt he really could have done anything to her, especially after she disabled his traps. I mean, that guy can barely move as it, as it is. Maybe, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Still, that's kind of pitiful, isn't it? What is? Him, with a body that big, I doubt it'd be easy to do anything. Just getting up must be so taxing. No wonder he let his hygiene slip. That's no reason to excuse his behavior. Yeah, it's just sad. I can't even imagine living life like that. I wouldn't be able to stand it. If I become a neat long enough, I might end up like that. Well, take care of yourself and you won't ever have to. I mean, with your ridiculous metabolism, you'd really have to do nothing but eat all day to get as bad as him. I suppose that's true. Hey, does does that make me weird? My eating habits, I mean? What, what you mean how you can put away a staggering amounts of food and not gain any weight? Well, I can't say if I ever met anyone with such an incredible appetite. But so what? I think it's pretty cool. It's like your own unique thing. Thanks, it makes me happy to hear that. I just wonder if Mishka thinks the same or not. Why would she? She said it herself, if she ate like I did, she'd get fat for sure. A lot of people think it's unfair. Well, tell those people to grow up, because new slash life isn't fair, and everyone sure as hell isn't made equal. Just gotta make the most of what you've got. I don't want her to start disliking me over something like this. Don't worry. If she starts being mean to you, let me and Karen know. We'll tie her up and force her to watch you show down pancake after pancake, until she has no choice but accept the differences between you two. Wouldn't that just make her resent me even more? I don't think that would help much. Nah, but really, she's not like that. We're all just surprised, that's all. Mishka's cool. She's not going to give you grief over something as childish as being able to eat more than her. Yeah, thanks. That does reassure me somewhat. I'll see you tomorrow. Night, Ari. And yeah, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about, so don't worry about it anymore. Alright, thanks. I won't. Ari's stats increased. How much did I even increase by? I don't know. Today was a holiday, so for, the mo for most people, that meant getting to take it easy for a day and not having to wake up early to go climb a monster-infested tower. Guess what fun activity we get to do today? You know, this is really starting to feel like a second job. I get wanting to solve these mysteries and all, but can't we take a break once in a while? <laughs> Come on, where's the spirit? Everyone's here. It's bright and early. We're going to make some good progress today. I just know it. Don't yell so loudly. It's hurting my ears. Really, how are you always so energetic when it comes to this? Look, not even Ari's having any of your nonsense this morning. You've had your grub, right? We're not gonna sit uh, we're not gonna wait around for you if you haven't, so don't tell me you're hungry or something. I know, if you're so eager to get going, then let's stop wasting time and let's go already. Yeah, right, let's go then. 
Whoa, I know I was the one who said it, but she's really not having it today. Right? Jeez, I felt chills from her glare now. Just what crawled up her butt and died. Does he have any new junk? Got quite a lot of new stuff to deal with now. Oh yeah, I have to re-equip Mishka. Does that mean? But well, we haven't seen the next teleport point yet. Does that mean the Swamp King is still gonna be there? He is still there. There's the stairs. Oh my love, you'll return! Look! Look upon the fine improvements I've made! Nothing looks any different! Nonsense, his stomach's more defined now! You've been doing crunches, haven't you? It looks like the room might be a teensy bit cleaner than yesterday. Yes, it's dreadfully hard work, but just nothing in the face of my fiery passion. Wait for me, I'll show you what kind of man I can become! Good luck, I'm rooting for you! Really, you two aren't just messing with me, right? You really can't see the difference. By the way, my love, if you'd like, I can reverse the spell I cast on you. Oh, come on! That's quite a difficult choice. What do I do? I mean, it's not like I'm going for a root or anything, but I think reversing the spell might be g good in the long run in case it really does t s kick her from the party. It is done! Does that do anything? I can recast it? What does this even accomplish? Eighty-nine attack. Does she have that before? What does this accomplish exactly? Oh, I see. It messes with her hairstyle a bit. She gets these little. Uh, her hairstyle actually changes to look more demonic. Good thing he doesn't mind how many times he has to recast that spell. It's only an aesthetic thing, right? Yeah. It's kind of like how I can just sw swap my own portrait whenever I want to. Is this snow? It feels cold, but really, why is there snow in a place like this? It's not even winter. And yet, we've got snow. Are you playing- are you gonna be okay in that, Karen? I'll be fine. We'll warm up anyway once we get moving. Man, this place just keeps getting weirder and weirder. First the swamp, now snow. One bit on what's coming up after this. Lava? Hey, Tiny ATI, think fast! Ah! I turned just in time to take a handful of snow to the face. God, what's the big deal? No answering, Mishka tossed another snowball my way. Here, now you've done it. You're about to find out why they called me Frosty back in middle school. Frosty? That's not why I would call 1080 Ti by any means. Has anyone actually tried to get Sub Zero temps on their uh, graphics cards? Like, just put, uh, like, just try to get hooked up to an ice bucket somehow? Why? Because you start kept getting pulled with so many snowballs that you started looking like a snowman. Oh, it's on! Come on, carrot, you are down. I'll shovel snow up her back. Sounds like a plan. Eek! No for teaming up on me, Ari. Help! Miss Ghost Blood or Ari stood ducking behind her and using her as a shield. Wait, stop! I really don't feel like it right now. Can't get me, can't get me, bleh. Flank her, she can't block us from two directions at once. Roger! Hey, quit, I said I'm not in the mood. 
All right, we've got our d now. Commence Operation Freezy Pops. No! Haha, <laughs> save me! Eek! Uh, Ari, eek! Hit us cold! Will you guys cut it out? Seriously, stop! Something's different about Ari. Gee, way ran in our parade, Ari. Yeah, what's over you? Why so serious? Sorry, I'm just irritated right now. You guys play if you want. I'll go sit down over there. Is she dishing a party? You already dished a party once before. You can't say that and expect us not to worry. What happened? What's got you so grouchy this morning? Well, you know that diner we went to yesterday? How could we forget? What was the incredible stunt you pulled? I ended up really liking her pancakes, so I got up extra early and stopped by there before coming here. Don't tell me... Do you forget it was a holiday and they were closed? No, actually, they were one of the few places that stay open. Of course, being early on a holiday, there were also a few customers, so it wasn't like it was busy. What happened? Did they serve you bad pancakes? That would definitely put a downer on my day. Well, no, Rowdy they didn't give me any pancakes. None at all. How come? Were they out of batter? No. Well, butter. Can't make pancakes without butter. No. Egg scent? Did they forget to stock up and only had rotten eggs laying around? No, they had enough ingredients. Batter, butter, eggs, maple, milk, maple syrup. The, st the stove works fine. Their pans weren't broken. Their cooks had no problems cooking. What kind of half-baked pancake mystery are you taking us on? If everything was perfect, then why didn't you get any? They forgot my order. I hate it when that happens too. When they forget my order and then co and then I have to wait until like 8 o'clock just to get my dinner. They forgot? Twice. Service there really sucks. Wait, what? What do you mean twice? How can they forget twice? You ever make a, write them a bad review on Yelp? That's what I want to know. I sat there for over half an hour waiting for my food. Then when I asked the waitress, she said she hadn't taken my order yet. Was she just messing with you? Maybe she remembered you from yesterday and didn't think you tipped well enough. I'm pretty sure you'd have to do way more than just not tip well to get treated that badly. Right? Maybe it was just an honest mistake. So the next time, I made sure that she got my order, asking for less stacks since it was getting close to our meetup time. And that order didn't get through either? No. And she was mess- so she was messing with you. She's just holding a grudge for whatever reason. Still, that was pretty gutsy of her to pull that kind of stunt in her workplace. You didn't let her get away with it, right? That's the thing. It didn't seem like she was purposely forgetting about me. She had my order written down and everything, and she seemed very genuine and apologetic while we were speaking. Is it because we spent too much time in the tower that people are not able to perceive our existence anymore? For some reason, my orders never got to the kitchen, and in the end, I knew I wouldn't have enough time to eat, and I didn't want it to delay us two days in a row, so I just left. Well, that does sound like it sucked, but that's not, it's not a big deal, right? You won't die from skipping one or two breakfasts. Wait, Mishka, that's too naive. You haven't thought about it seriously enough. What do you mean? Just imagine, Ari's happy face as she strolls into the diner, ready to munch on some soft, fluffy pancakes. She gives her order, then sits back eagerly anticipating her delicious treat. Remember, she got up early for this, or even earlier than we did. The seconds drag on, turning the minutes, her stomach growls not at all held by the delicious smells wafting from the kitchen. She tells herself she must be patient, that they need time to make her the best pancakes they can, and nothing good will come from rushing them. 10 minutes pass, then 20. These, those pancakes should be here by now. They're not. Why? She asked, she asked her waitress, only found out the order didn't go in, meaning they weren't even being made yet. That's fine, just a temporary setback. That means it'll taste even better once they do. Reassuring herself of this fact, she places her order once again and returns to waiting. By now, her pancake is her stomach is grumbling, asking her why there are no delicious pancakes inside of it. It's coming, just be patient, she tells herself, over and over again, like a mantra. Something... But something's wrong. Her waitress keeps going in the kitchen and something and coming out with plates of food that aren't for her. Sometimes she would bring pancakes out and her heart would flutter at the sight. But without fail, she would pass by her table, never once stopping to bring her anything. Slowly she begins to realize that the pancakes she's been yearning for will never come. Wait, stop, stop. Don't say anymore. My heart can't take it. Ari, I'm so sorry. That's horrible. I'll buy you anything you want to eat, so don't, please don't be sad. I'm more interested than sad, but sure. Are you still hungry? Do you want to eat anything? We can go back down if you want. Well, I did stop to buy some bread on the way, bread on the way over, so it's not like I'm starving, really. I just want to know why my order mysteriously vanished not once, but twice. Am I really that forgettable? 
I'm pretty sure it's the opposite. And as an Ivy surprises the staff there didn't at all know you on a first name basis. Which really just makes this extra weird. What do you think, Karen? Huh? Me? Well, um, how would I know? Yeah, I guess not. I mean, the past few days have been nothing but craziness. It's not like this is any stranger than everything else we've been going through. Just another mystery for the stockpile. Right, maybe it was a freak occurrence, or maybe it doesn't even have anything to do with the rest of us. There's no way to know, right? Sure, well, the sooner we get through this place, the faster we'll find some answers. Come on, guys, let's go move on. Okay, there's a teleport point. Ay ay ay. Well, for now, I'm just gonna save. Okay, let's try fighting this FOE. Get back here. There's two of them. This could be tough. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna pull this off easily. Seriously. Oh, hell no! Wait, are they called Bulbasaur or something? At least their AP has been reduced, so I should have a slight chance, but still. This won't be easy. Guard boost self. Ugh. This is bad. I'm not sure I can survive. Don't heal. doing anything too crazy. Oh, I can crit with that too. Oh shit! Damn, this is really bad. Even with guard, I couldn't survive it. Water all. Damn. This could take a while. Uh. 
This really sucks. I feel like I'm at a standstill here. We all make dark toxicate happen in time, forget it.
This is actually tougher than the, uh, the boss of the area. Self-heal. <sighs> Let's just go all in. Yes! One down! And the other one is full of deep buffs. We got this. Alright. Fire blaze. Boost self. We're not. Uh. Uh. Let's see. Toxicate. <sighs> so let me do my options here. Mm. Yeah, so if, I can't, if I, he can't gain any AP, then I'll have a huge advantage. They'll be forced to use really weak healing spells and... <laughs> So good.
keeping that AP down. Oh wow, I think I locked the enemy down. Nice. Alright, let's see. Got it! Babasaur. Sounds like Bulbasaur, huh? And I got the water fr uh, Two copies of water free. Excellent. Guess it was worth it in the end. The question is, will this thing respawn? Well, only one way to find out. I don't see it coming back. Probably keep me from farming too many... Uh, 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 ...many water freeze. Yeah. I guess it's dead forever. Hold on, let me go to the next strata. Maybe... That'll give... maybe that'll cause it to respawn. Nope. It's dead. Until the New Game Plus, that is. I'm pretty sure New Game Plus will bring all of the FOEs back. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And maybe check out Neox's other game, Alter Ala Genesis.